Beneath our feet lie tales of entire worlds forgotten by time. From Malta's enigmatic hypogeum to Turkey's sprawling subterranean cities and China's mysterious Longyu caves, our ancestors carved out more than just shelters. They crafted stories in stone. As we delve into these ancient underground marvels, prepare to uncover secrets buried deep, where every chamber whispers legends and every corridor echoes with history's footsteps. The hypogeum of Hal Safliani, located on the sun-soaked island of Malta, is a marvel that intertwines history, mystery and architecture. As the only known prehistoric underground temple in the world, its allure extends far beyond its subterranean nature. Delving into this fascinating structure, one can't help but be struck by its age. Dating back to around 4000, 2500 BCE, this structure predates the famous pyramids of Egypt, which gives us a sense of the age and significance of this site. Constructed across three levels and descending to a depth of more than 10 meters, the hypogeum was chiseled meticulously out of the soft limestone that underpins much of Malta's terrain. What's striking is the sheer dedication and effort it must have taken. Picture this, ancient builders, with rudimentary tools, intricately carving out spaces in complete harmony with the Earth's contours, ensuring structural stability while crafting vast chambers and corridors. It's a testament to human capability and determination. But it wasn't merely an architectural project. The Hippogeum's primary purpose was spiritual. Serving as both a sanctuary and a necropolis, it was a sacred space where the living communed with the departed, over 7,000 human remains have been discovered within its chambers, suggesting that it played a significant role in the burial rituals of the Maltese temple period. And here's where it gets even more intriguing. Among the remains, archaeologists discovered unique spiral-carved patterns and intricate red ochre paintings. These art pieces hint at a rich tapestry of beliefs, possibly linked to the cycle of life and death or the celestial movements. One of the most fascinating chambers within the Hypogeum is the Oracle Chamber. This chamber possesses unique acoustic properties. A word uttered softly within its confines resonates and amplifies throughout the entire complex. Some believe this was purposefully designed to evoke a sense of the supernatural, where the voices of priests or oracles would boom mystically, reverberating with divine intensity. Amidst these wonders lies the Holy of Holies, a chamber showcasing a detailed reproduction of the exterior of a megalithic temple. This mimicking of external temple architecture in an underground environment raises questions about the cultural and spiritual practices of the temple builders. Were they replicating the above-ground temples as a symbolic gesture, or was it an attempt to merge the worlds of the living and the departed? Though the Hippogeum is a treasure trove of history and culture, much about it remains shrouded in mystery. Numerous questions persist about its builders, their lives, their spiritual beliefs, and the societal significance of this grand subterranean temple. And as we delve deeper into its chambers, we realize that the Hypogeum is not just an ancient relic. It's a doorway, beckoning us to step in and journey through millennia of human endeavor, belief, and ingenuity. Nestled within the historical region of Cappadocia in Turkey, there's an underground marvel that redefines our understanding of ancient human settlements the subterranean city of Derinkuyu. Unlike any conventional city, Derinkuyu challenges the vertical dimension, plunging deep into the heart of the earth rather than sprawling across its surface. Imagine, if you will, a vast underground network, complete with tunnels, chambers and vents, all meticulously carved out of the soft volcanic rock that characterizes Cappadocia's landscape. This is no mere underground hideaway. Derinkuyu is an intricate city that spans an astounding eight levels deep. Its depth and complexity make it one of the largest underground settlements ever discovered. But why go underground? The initial reasons were practical. Cappadocia's unique geological formations known as fairy chimneys were naturally soft and easy to carve. Over time, as external threats from invaders became more prevalent, these underground havens offered the local population a secure refuge. The entrance doors, massive stone discs, could only be opened or closed from the inside, providing an effective defense mechanism against any intruders. Within this subterranean wonder, one discovers a city teeming with life's essentials. There are living quarters, stables for livestock, storage rooms, wine cellars, and even religious chambers, including churches with impressive frescoes that have withstood the test of time. 
air and light are facilitated by strategically placed ventilation shafts, ensuring that even at its deepest levels, the city remained breathable and livable. A particularly intriguing feature of Derinkuyu is its sophisticated water system. Wells were not connected to the surface to prevent poisoning by any potential invaders. This means that the inhabitants had fresh water, even when under siege, enhancing the city's self-sufficiency. Moreover, the city was connected to other underground cities in the region through miles of tunnels, which hints at a level of cooperation and possibly a complex trade network between these subterranean settlements. But who were the masterminds behind this impressive city? While the earliest known mention of Derinkuyu is in ancient Greek texts, it's believed that the Hittites, an ancient Anatolian people, began its construction in the 8th century BCE. Over centuries, as various empires and groups, including the Phrygians, Persians, and early Christians, took residence in the region, they expanded and enhanced the city. Derinkuyu isn't just a marvel of ancient engineering, it's a testament to human adaptability. It challenges our contemporary notions of what a city should be and highlights the ingenuity of ancient civilizations in ensuring survival amidst external threats. As we walk its dimly lit corridors, the echoes of the past reverberate, reminding us of the lengths humanity can go to preserve and protect its own. In the serene village landscape of Longyu, Zhejiang province in China, lies an intricate puzzle that has both amazed and baffled researchers for decades, the Long Yu Caves. These caves, unlike any typical natural caverns, are a testament to human determination, precision, and ingenuity. Discovered quite by accident in 1992 by local villagers, these caves were initially assumed to be an ancient quarry. But as the waters were drained and further exploration was conducted, the sheer enormity and complexity of these hand-carved caves began to emerge. Today, 24 caves have been uncovered, though there's speculation that many more might be hidden beneath the surface. Each of the discovered caves is massive, averaging about 1,000 square meters in size with heights reaching up to 30 meters. Now, what's truly remarkable about these caves isn't just their size, but the precision with which they've been carved. The walls, ceilings and pillars are uniformly leveled, with differences in height as minute as a single millimeter. This suggests that the architects behind these caverns had an acute sense of detail and access to sophisticated tools and techniques. Adding to their intrigue, the walls of the Longyu Caves are covered with intricate carvings and chisel marks, which are so uniform they give the impression of being molded by machines. Yet these caves are believed to date back to at least 2,000 years, making the existence of such machinery an impossibility by our current understanding. The mystery deepens when we consider the sheer volume of rock that had to be removed to create these caverns. Estimates suggest that over a million cubic meters of rock were excavated. Where did all this material go? There's no evidence of such vast amounts of debris in the surrounding areas. Another puzzle is the purpose behind these caves. While many ancient underground sites around the world served as tombs, religious sites or shelters, the Longyu Caves don't seem to fit any of these categories. There are no historical records, inscriptions or artifacts that provide a definitive answer. Waterproofing is another impressive feature of the Longyu Caves. The walls have been treated with a special mixture, giving them a glossy appearance and ensuring that they're impermeable. This is a significant technological feat considering the age of these structures. As for who built them, that remains one of the greatest enigmas surrounding the Longyu Caves. While some theories suggest they might be the work of an ancient Chinese dynasty, there's no conclusive evidence to pin it on any specific group. The caves don't fit seamlessly into the architectural style or techniques of any known civilization from the region. The Longyu Caves challenge our perceptions of ancient civilizations and their capabilities. With every chiseled mark and perfectly aligned pillar, they pose questions about the knowledge and techniques of our ancestors. As we continue to explore and decipher their mysteries, these caves stand as silent sentinels of a past that's waiting to be fully understood. Tucked away in the region of Cappadocia, Turkey, lies one of the most incredible architectural wonders, the underground city of Kaimakli. While Cappadocia is already renowned for its unique rock formations and fairy chimneys, Kaimakli adds another dimension, quite literally, by plunging into the depths of the earth. The first striking feature of Kaimakli is its vastness. This ancient underground city spreads across eight floors, although only a few are open to the public. 
Originally carved out of the soft volcanic rock, the city's tunnels, chambers and air shafts form an intricate labyrinth, showcasing the advanced understanding of construction and design by its ancient builders. While many might question the purpose of constructing such a massive subterranean space, it's believed that Kaimakli primarily served as a refuge during invasions and wars. The region's history is punctuated with frequent invasions, from the Hittites to the Persians and the underground cities like Kaimakli, provided the local population with a place to hide, live, and even conduct daily activities away from prying eyes. The design of Kaimakli is both functional and strategic. Heavy stone doors could seal off corridors, making it difficult for invaders to penetrate deep into the city. Additionally, the numerous tunnels connecting different parts of the city would allow inhabitants to move freely, access resources and communicate without being detected. Beyond just tunnels and chambers, Kaimakli was equipped with all the amenities needed to support life for extended periods. There are living quarters, stables for livestock, wine and oil presses, storage rooms and even a church. Remarkably, the city also features ventilation shafts and water wells, ensuring fresh air and water supply for its inhabitants. These features highlight how the designers of Kaimakli not only focused on immediate protection, but also on long-term sustainability. Another fascinating aspect is the presence of communal spaces. These suggest that Kaimakli was more than just a hideout. It was a place where communities could gather, practice their faith and conduct ceremonies, the presence of religious spaces, particularly churches, also points to the Christian community that once took refuge here, especially during the Arab-Byzantine Wars. While the history of Kaimakli and its exact timeline remain subjects of research and debate, it's undeniable that the city stands as a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. It demonstrates how, faced with external threats, communities can come together to create incredible solutions that stand the test of time. Walking through the dimly lit corridors of Kaimakli, one can't help but be transported back in time, imagining the whispers of ancient inhabitants, the soft glow of oil lamps, and the profound sense of community that this subterranean marvel fostered.